Hi, now let's see lecture number five of Ultimate Python course. Okay, in this course, in this lecture, we are going to see Ripple programming. Okay, so what is Ripple program is, or it is called REPL, REPL or REPL, R E P L, basically. So when you want to do learn about Python interactively, or if you want to do some debugging, then Ripple programming is going to be helpful. So what is Ripple? Okay, don't write these slides. Don't write anything on your notes. Don't prepare the notes. The entire lecture notes and these slides, these slides will be provided to you in the description. Okay, don't write notes. So now what is Ripple is read, evaluate, print loop. What does it mean? You can give any input to the Python. Python will read your input. Then Python will evaluate it. Then it will print the result. And after reading, evaluating and printing, it is again going to loop the same thing, which means again, read, evaluate, print. I'll show you what it is. Before that, I'll tell you some theory about it. Okay. So what is Ripple is? It is a programming environment, which means it is helpful for you to write the programs that allows the user to input code. You can give the input and then Python will evaluate it and then the results will be shown in real time, which means you will be interacting with it. Generally, <coughs> what is the common practice? We write the entire program, execute it at a whole. Then we are going to see the output of the program. But here, line by line, you can see the output of the program. That is the advantage of Ripple programming. Okay. So basically, Ripple programming is helpful for developers who want to test the code. Ripple programming is helpful for developers who want to test the code, debug the code, and also who want to learn Python. So Ripple is present in many languages. For example, JavaScript also has Ripple. When we do JavaScript course, I will tell you how to Ripple in JavaScript. Okay. And Python also has Ripple and Ruby also has Ripple. And there are many uh, programming languages which has Ripple. This is useful for the beginners and also experienced developers for debugging. Beginners can learn coding, experienced debuggers can, developers can debug the code. Now what is the purpose? So it will read the input, evaluate the input and print the output. And again, the same thing will happen. Read, evaluate, print, read, evaluate, evaluate, print, right? So this is ideal for quick test, which means you can quickly test a program, right? And it is helpful for debugging and also for learning Python interactively. So how to launch Ripple? <coughs> so what is this environment? How to launch it? So open the command prompt. So in Windows, if you go to search and then type cmd, command prompt will be opened, right? In other programming, in other operating systems, you just Google out how to open the command prompt. Now, once the command prompt is open, then you type Python or Python 3. Then what happens is you are going to get three greater than symbols. You will get greater than, greater than, greater than, three greater than symbols you will get. What is the meaning of these three greater than symbol is that Ripple has started. Now you can give the prompts at the uh, uh, three greater than symbols. Okay. Now, once you are done with uh, giving the prompts and once you are done with uh, Ripple, if you want to exit from Ripple, you can use exit or quit. Okay. <coughs> now we will see how to open the command prompt, how to launch Ripple, how to do programming in this environment. So first thing is go to search and you type CMD. Now that is going to open command prompt. Okay. Now here, you can check the Python version by giving Python hyphen hyphen version. Now its version is 3.13.0, so latest version. Now then you are going to give Python command and Ripple has started, right? Command prompt of Ripple has begun. There you can give any command. For example, 5 plus 3, if you want to calculate, it will give you 8. <coughs> For example, a equal to 10, B equal to let us say 5. And now if you type A plus B, it will give you 15, which means interactively you are getting the output. You don't have to write the entire program and see the output. You can see the output whenever you want. Now, if you try to print something, so this is a string. When you write something within the uh, double quotes, that is called as a string. So when we go to strings, we will see about what a string is and all. From here, don't worry about it. Just type print something, then it will print that, okay? 
and if you want to find the length of s these are all inbuilt functions see print is an inbuilt function which means it comes by default you don't have to write that function you can directly use it now similarly length is a length is a uh, also a inbuilt function it will give you the length of the string for example if i write length rbr it is going to give me 3 and then eval eval is also an inbuilt function which will evaluate the command given in the string format for example 5 plus 3 is given in the string format you have to give in the string format otherwise it will give you error okay so strings i will tell you if you don't know about it you don't know about it but let's wait now we can also find out square root of a number for that you have to import the package uh, math it is called a module okay so math is a module i am importing the module and inside the math module there is a function called sqrt so i am writing math.sqrt now if i write square root of 4 it is going to give me 2 as the output okay which means square root of 4 is 2 you can also ask help okay for example if you want to learn something about some function or some anything in python in python you can ask for help so how can you ask for help you can type help function now whatever now you got help right so whatever you want to know about for example if you want to know about print just type print now it is going to show you what is print and uh, what are the what is its syntax and what are the arguments everything you can see you can read them and do it so i'm going to uh, teach you all this uh, later about uh, how to know about functions or which are present in python and all we will see that later okay for now this is sufficient just play with it you know now if you want to exit from the ripple you can type exit or quit you can type exit or you can type quit you can exit okay see I am giving you this course for free and it is taking hell a lot of time and effort from me and my team. So all that I ask from you is subscribe to the channel please and share this with your friends so that they will also subscribe to the channel and leave a comment so that the reach will increase, reach of the video will increase. Okay. Thank you so much. Hi everyone. I hope you have liked our YouTube videos which are given for free. Most of our courses for free but there are some paid courses as well. If you want to know about our paid courses please go to the website ravindrababuravla.in. There you can see the list of all the paid courses available like Gate CS, Gate DA. If you are interested in preparing for Gate DS, Gate CX, uh, DA in order to join M IATs, then definitely our courses will help you. Even if your plan is not to do masters, doing gate cs will help you will help you get into product based companies and doing gate da will help you become data scientists and ml engineers okay and coming to the study abroad so now if you are in a dilemma whether you want to uh, go abroad or whether you want to study gate uh, study prepare for gate and uh, write for the exam please do whatsapp us on the number shown in the website okay you can whatsapp us on this number and there is study abroad program as well you can go and learn more about it right so either you want to go for ms or uh, either you want to go for mtech or you want to join a software industry in a product based company we have all the courses required on our website and all these courses are amazing courses you will definitely love it if you are loving the youtube courses okay thank you